everyone, so today I want to talk about the BBC programme, The Grammar School, A Secret History. Now this is a two part series to the date of this video, only one episode is aired and obviously I will reveal at the end of this video whether or not I'm going to go on to watch the second episode. And basically this looks at the British grammar school systems from kind of the beginning of the 1920s. The second episode, I believe, goes from 1950s. So this covers around 30 years of grammar school education and looks at what children had to do to get into the grammar school, what the grammar school education itself was like, what some of the top schools were like, and, you know, certain benefits and negatives of the grammar school system. So it looks at all the aspects from around 1920 to about 1950 in this first episode. It's told through various different ways. We get to see a lot of clips and a lot of footage from kind of 1930s and 40s of these school systems. And I think that's really fascinating. I am a history nut. I love, you know, if I was to time travel, I would go back in time, um, 19th century really, but the beginning of the 20th century I think is fantastic. And to get this visual insight I think is great and it really helps put you in the picture and really position yourself um, in, in the way that the school children were at the time, which I think is great. But we also get personal accounts. It's told mainly through these personal accounts. The footage accompanies what um, these people are saying. You know, we get to meet various different people who studied at grammar schools at the time and their stories and the difficulties they had with getting into it or um, if they got into it easily, you know, the actual education itself. And some of the problems that came about um, for example, there was one person who had fantastic grades and she could have gone for this really amazing grammar school but because her, her father was unable to work and the income in the family was not that high she couldn't travel to this grammar school and I think that that is a massive shame. You know, she, she had a, a scholarship, she could have got into the school itself but the expense of travelling was not a possibility and I mean that's still something that goes on today, you know, it, it's not it's not changed that much, which I think is nice, because it does show that grammar schools were like that then, but not a lot has changed in the terms of, you know, if you still haven't got a lot of money, you're not going to be able to go to the grammar school. Um, so I think it was quite a shame, really, but we learned that she went on to another, another great school and things, so it is fine. There's a great diversity in the stories that we are told, you know, different situations, different parts of the country. So I think it's told in a really interesting way. It's not just, this was a grammar school, this is how it works we actually have personal accounts to make it a little bit more fascinating and quite frankly m more believable. We get to see old school reports, we get to learn about the types of lessons they had, the uniforms they had to wear, the fact that it was, you know, there was, the schools were separate boys and, and girls schools. Uh, so it is very, very, inter very entertaining. I don't at all times feel like I'm learning about the grammar school though. Sometimes I just feel like I'm learning about education for children in the 1920s and 30s which is great because that is very interesting and very fascinating but considering the program, the premise of the program is to study the grammar school it kind of fails to do that sometimes because it's more emphasizing how you get into grammar schools rather than the actual gra the grammar school itself and, and what the education was like. It does touch upon that, don't get me wrong but I think they could have heightened that a little bit more. Maybe there wasn't enough information or footage to do that. Um, but it's still very fascinating and presented in a very great way. And I will be watching the next episode. I, obviously the closer we get to present day, you know, the 1950s is obviously closer than the 1920s. My mind kind of starts to be a little bit uninterested a little bit more because I do prefer the older the better. That's, that's, um, that's my motto, I think. So... I will watch it. I'm not really too sure what to expect. Maybe they'll focus more on the grammar side of things. I'm looking forward to it. It's very well presented, um, very well put forward. The directing of it is brilliant. There's some gorgeous kind of... The music to accompany the clips is brilliant. But there's some really, really beautiful um, footage from the 1930s, which I think is really brilliant. The fact that we have other people talking about their experiences really is great. I have no complaints with this. As I said, the only thing is that it doesn't at all times feel like I'm learning about the grammar school, if that makes sense. Sometimes I just feel like I'm learning about education in general, but you know, education I absolutely love. Um, it's really, really brilliant. Go and check it out. It is on BBC iPlayer, uh, but please feel free to leave thoughts and things on the grammar school. Um, did, did you think there was enough about the grammar school? Did you feel like you were learning about the grammar school and not just British education pre-war? Uh, let me know. Um, but that's it for just now, so I will see you all next time. Bye!